This is the Halo View RD10 observation camera. And today we're going to unbox it, install it, and test it on our Grand Design 312 BHDS pulled by our F250. Before we start, I just want to thank uh, Halo View for supplying this. They saw our video where uh, our backup cam, our Furin backup cam screen actually got stolen in Houston. That was over a year ago and I've been driving the trailer without any rear view um, camera at all. And I hate it every time. I was much more comfortable when I did have one. However, I've been putting it off and putting it off. Uh, I didn't know which one to buy. There's so many choices around. And then actually, uh, Halo View saw the video. They contacted me and said, hey, we'd like to, to try one of this. So I did get this for free. Um, they have not pressured me to do any kind of good review or anything. I'm going to give my honest opinion of this. Um, they actually gave me a choice. They do do some, uh, do do. <laughs> they do do, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do. They do a big screen version. Um, and they also do the cameras that go all the way around. They go on the, uh, indicators turn signal things and there's one on the back uh, that's a much bigger unit the one thing I don't like about that is the reason why I think our screen got stolen is because uh, there was a big screen we went to a parking lot there was a big screen and I feel like the parking attendant saw the screen told his buddies where we were gonna park and there uh, and they stole it so really I wanted something a little bit less obvious um, and so actually I went for the RD 10 it's a little bit cheaper than one of those full systems but it does clip onto your uh, rear view mirror, which is cool because you can't use the mirror anyway because the trailer's behind you. So um, I'm hoping that's gonna be a little bit less obvious. So just before I get installed, I just wanted to get sorted, make sure I've got everything I need. Um, it's very simple. We have, uh, I have everything laid out here in the, uh, in the order that it's gonna go. So we have the camera, uh, which obviously the first thing you also have adapter brackets uh, I think the one in there is for the Furion which is most common so I'm going to install the camera and the adapter bracket first then you have the extra cable um, kind of splice thing it's uh, this just makes sure that you can get power to the uh, extra antenna that you need uh, you can just plug uh, an antenna into the camera if you only have a small trailer you don't need this at all you can just plug the camera in plug the antenna in and if it's a short distance to your truck then it will just speak but I think ours is we have uh, what is ours 37 feet is our rig and then we've got the f-250 so I'm gonna need the extension probably um, uh, so we have that that connects one end to the camera one end to the bracket and then the other end to the extension cable the extension cable then connects to the antenna which will sit at the front of the rig and then in the rig we have the screen and the power for the screen and that's it okay so I've got the old Furion camera off that was easy four screws uh, that was it come straight off I then have this backing plate here and with one cable that comes out so you'll see this here, I can't put it any further. So there's this cable. Um, the halo view, one interesting fact just quickly, is it says it's only 720p on this camera, whereas it says it's a 1080p system. So I'm gonna see how that looks. Um, I suspect the front camera is maybe 1080 and this one's 720, but whatever, no big deal. Um, okay, so this cable that comes out for me, this is the Furion one. It's uh, like the female version of that little connector. Hopefully that's focusing. Anyway. Plug that in, done. Then you use this adapter. If you are using the extension cable, you need this adapter to actually power the antenna. So all you do is this power, this is literally just a power. You plug that into this end. It's got a nice secure clip on there. If I can figure out how to, there we go. Get that in, so that's in there. The camera will connect to this side. So that would go on here. And then that tightens in and then this runs to the extension cable all, all the way to the other end so that's pretty much all i've had to use uh, i'm going to figure out how i can stick all this stuff down i'm going to screw the camera on it's just four screws i haven't had to change any brackets or anything it fits straight in there um, so i'm going to throw these four screws in then i'm going to run get the uh, other power cable and then see how i'm going to run this across the the roof of the rv
So I haven't secured everything uh, on the trailer yet. I just want to test, make sure everything works perfectly first. Um, one interesting thing that I found with the screen, that I mean, the screen, the quality is so much better than I thought it would be. Like, it's one of those things you, you just have to see for yourself, but it's not, it doesn't feel like that cheap at all. Another cool thing is it actually comes with an SD card. So it does have the camera, that's a front facing camera and apparently it does record um, the front and rear um, uh, cameras so I don't know how long I think this is a 32 gig SD card very cool that it comes with that one thing I found really weird though it has like the old school USB like from phones from 1998 that's weird and the other irritating thing about that is it comes with a cigarette lighter um, I get it, most cars have a cigarette lighter, but I would really like to just use a USB port because my truck has tons of them. Um, so I might have to find a different cable to this. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is it looks like a mirror. There you go, there's my camera. Uh, it looks like a normal mirror, um, but it is actually a screen. So I'm gonna plug this in and see what happens. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Oh, how cool is that? That, I literally just plugged it in and it's come up with this. So, damn. Okay, that's really cool. So off your own camera, I have to have the lights turned on um, for that to work. Uh, I'm not gonna change any wiring for that. I'm just gonna keep it exactly as it is. It's not a big deal. So in theory, Natalie, mm. I'm not sure if it's gonna work because I might have to sync it up, but I'm gonna turn the lights on and see if this comes up. Okay, didn't. I, this is when I'm gonna read the manual, isn't it? Yeah. Not gonna do that. Okay, there is a button under here. Oh, that turns it off. <laughs> if you press this button, it turns it off and it goes to a mirror. That's cool. <whistles> right. Oh, it's touch screen. <laughs> so if you click it. That's cool. That is amazing. Right, so if I hit this, it says no signal. Time to get the manual. Yeah. Fine. I did something stupid. <laughs> I forgot the trailer wasn't plugged into the truck. <laughs> that would okay. do it. It works. Immediately. Check that out. Hold on. I see, I see it. You can see my ladder. This is too easy. All right, so now's a good time to talk about um, why I like this. Uh, I got very fed up with having to um, pull out the screen every time on, on the old Furin camera, and also it takes up so much space on the dash, and then the mount broke, and it was just, the whole time we had it, I just, it was just a nuisance. It was more of a nuisance than, than being useful. So I specifically went for the RD10, although it's cheaper than one of the other sets that, that Halo View offered us, um, I think it's the best one. And I think if I can hide the wire, it's very inconspicuous and people would never know what it is. So, um, so far I'm very happy with it. I think it's gonna work really well. Um, even the mirror function is pretty good. It's not as good as the normal mirror, but it works okay. All right, let's go finish up. Another thing I've noticed, again, haven't read the manual, just figured this out. If you swipe up on the screen, uh, it can let you flip the image around. Uh, you can take a capture, you can record. We'll stop recording because it was already recording. So you can record, you can pair it with something else. Uh, it obviously has a microphone so you can hear out back. Uh, obviously we're not there at the moment, so we don't know. And then there have a few other settings and stuff here that you can use. Uh, set up the parking lines, uh, you can format the memory card record and picture, that's probably the recordings, and then you can set all the settings for this. So, uh, pretty cool. Okay, so one thing you can see, we're actually just moving very slowly here, but uh, you can move it up and down. If I stop, you can see that it moves the angle up and down. So the reason why is obviously it's very thin, um, so you don't get the the full view of everything, it's kind of zoomed in. Um, 
if you hit this, you get the front view camera and the rear view, which gives you a much better view, which is kind of cool. One thing I have noticed, uh, uh, not an issue as such, but it's obviously not lined up with uh, my original mirror. That's because the camera is here. You can see my hand here. So if I line this up, this one's just black, which is annoying. So, but overall, I mean, that's pretty good. Like, that's only 720. By the way, it is pretty obvious, this is 1080. So that's the front view camera, that's cool. You can see it's recording. Um, that's 720, which is actually, it's a bigger difference than I thought. I wish that was a 1080, but I obviously understand that it's, uh, it needs to send the signal wirelessly, so. Let me see if we can go around the bend here. See that just in this corner here, you can see my ladder, so that's kind of cool. Uh, there is volume control, so actually, if you swipe up in the whole options in the picture, there's a whole bunch of options here. It's very customizable. You can have different picture and picture settings. Um, very cool very cool I'm very happy I think this should be more money if I'm honest um, and I know we've literally done maybe two miles uh, but I love it already absolutely love it and then so if I turn that off you should be able to see me hello can you see me yep I think and I can see you Hi. pretty perfectly it's not as good as the original mirror but I mean that's pretty cool so even if I would never have to disconnect this obviously I need to figure this wire out but I would never disconnect I'd leave this on that mirrors fine let me turn it back on let me go to full front view I need to turn the volume turn. down because the volume's annoying me <laughs> I just missed the turn and but yeah I think I prefer this view like that this is very cool I'm very very happy right now All right, guys, well, that's it. Uh, I need to tidy up all of this stuff, but overall, I'm very happy with this. I'm so happy, in fact, I'm going to ask them for if they do any affiliate programs, and then hopefully I can get you guys some kind of discount if you want to buy the RD10, or you can look at their other stuff that they've got. Um, obviously, this is the only one I've tried. But if you like this, if it helped, then please hit the subscribe and like this video. Uh, people always ask us what they can do to help support us right now that's the best thing you can do it helps our channel grow so thank you very much we appreciate it all right we'll see you next week